This has got to be the dumbest, and I mean the dumbest challenge Call of Duty has ever, and I mean ever, put into any of their games. Call of Duty Vanguard, as you guys know, this game has tried its utmost to be as historically accurate as possible, as you can see from our man Snoop Dogg, he was here fighting in the war. Now given obviously that's not fair, after a certain amount of time eventually they go out of their way to do all this other shit, it happens with every single game, but the weirdest thing is that initially, when the game ended up coming out, they were trying to stay so historically accurate that they were willing to sacrifice the actual balance of the game for historical accuracy. The trophy system has been in Call of duty games for years at this point and it was a massive massive equipment slash item that everybody used especially anybody that was trying to win anyway they used it for mostly objective modes like a hard point domination things like that in public matches they're very good in modern warfare 2019 trophy system was insane on cold war and when vanguard ended up coming out initially they said that the trophy system was just not historically accurate it didn't exist so they're not having it in the game i think that was a pretty short-sighted you know decision on their part but what six months later they finally added one now here's the thing great for them they added it to their game that i don't even know if ten thousand people play daily anymore. those are good numbers for like an indie game but look at this challenge the trophy system survived 15 different matches without being killed by a grenade do you not understand that people are just gonna throw grenades now how do we stop them from grenading us if you made the joke and the crazy thing is it's not counting sometimes yeah and the trophy system for whatever reason is literally like a bipod machine with four claymores strapped to it now given I, I don't necessarily understand explosives and shit like that i am not a military guy this is really strange to me i know that you need an explosive in order to stop an explosive right claymores though unless the trophy system is doing its thing and then it's protected by claymores that would be absolutely ridiculous <laughs> and the other thing is too even though they're adding the trophy system to the game in this game I, I said it from the start that grenades would be an issue because of the no trophy system shit. we don't know how good it actually is or how many things that it blocks or how responsible of it actually is or it, what its range is like for example i think the one on cold war was actually probably the best trophy system we've ever had it was insane really good on modern warfare 2019 i said go in the hardpoint pubs and stay away from the hill no one throws grenades anywhere else decent idea play search and destroy and run out of the map every round easy that's a good idea right there. As you guys already know, I just spam small maps. I have every weapon pretty much done on here except, what, my Whitley? I stopped doing the DLC weapons for zombies because zombies is literally just, it's hardly even a mode. It's disgusting what they did to it, but yeah, I just want to thank you guys for all the love and support on my videos recently. Thank you for over 20,000 likes on the last video. Now, I know people aren't fond of Vanguard, but I mean, an update's an update. Play search and destroy and run out of the map every round. Okay, we got multiple rounds done. Now, does it count if we, okay, I'm going to run out of the map over here. That's not a grenade death. Oh, nice shot. Oh my god, wait a minute. Why don't I spectate search and destroy games? I spectate Warzone, why not this? That's not the worst idea. Pooch smooch, sitting on the B plant. Somebody's just spamming their LMG around it. The other player's coming back around. He literally missed every single one of his shots. The guy's pressing him with a shotgun. He completely failed at it. He just... All right. What? How many rounds does this go up to? I haven't played search and destroy in years. I jump off. I can't get blown up. Huge ass. Does anyone remember where the term wall bang even came from? I remember watching an Optic Hex commentary with D-Treat. And D-Treat said the term wall bang. And Hex said he never heard it before and asked him if he made it up. But I can't remember. Maybe it came from somewhere else. Where did the term wall bang come from? I don't know how I remember that shit. But I remember they did a dual commentary. It used to be a thing back in the community. All right, dead again. We only need a couple more rounds, guys. Come on. I just want to see if I play this one game out, if it'll actually give me progress or not. Is there anybody that's actually getting progress? I would feel bad about, you know, just automatically dying or whatever. Not being able to help my team and shit. But at the same time, I mean, it's, it's not ranked, so... And it's Vanguard. Like, who's even playing? But if I risk running out there and then just get blown up and, and I lose all of that progress, I have to do 15 different matches. Dude, I don't know. the world's biggest green wall fan you've ever seen, baby. Look at that shit. Got the title, the emblem, the camo. Even people that are in the teams don't even rep it that much. Two versus five. Here it comes, boys. Oh, two v four and one v four. Huge ass. Our final frontier. Looks like that ass has been slammed. Okay, please count please count it brings back memory seeing these slow motion kill cams over and over and over again i used to play a decent amount of search and destroy especially when uh like for mw2 bo1 just really haven't played it in a while let me take a guess of who the favorite operator is that should have counted once right that should have counted 
I got zero XP. I didn't do anything, but field upgrade. Zero of 15. Dude, I'm not doing it like that again. What the fuck? Hold on, man. Has anybody made any progress? Wait, you have to do a challenge to get something that is integral to the game. Yeah, I, I know. There's no way they have the Claymore text on the trophy system. Least effort put into a game ever. You didn't specify that even if you touch a Molotov cocktail flame that leave an AoE and get killed, that it doesn't track the challenge for trophies. Fuck this. I've uninstalled Be Better Vanguard. Those Claymores on a trophy system in a World War II game? I don't know. I mean, maybe it's accurate. I, I honestly, I don't even know. Trophy system challenge in Vanguard does not even track your progress. Fix it or remove entirely. It won't track until season three. What is up with these porn bots, man? Can we chat? I'm a good conversationalist. Just say you can talk. What the fuck? Oh, Overwatch 2 beta is happening as well. Okay. There are now lootable perks in Warzone. Uh, okay. The challenge just doesn't track. Is, is that it? Regardless of whether it's going to track or not. Okay. Maybe I'm just stupid for trying to do it right now, I guess. But like, can you guys fix it before it, it does work? then what is up with these people saying trophy systems aren't needed all of a sudden what the fuck is going on with this community it doesn't even make sense as to why i would have to survive entire games without dying to grenades when i don't have the thing that protects me from grenades i, I don't get it. it sounds like a challenge you would give to somebody after they had unlocked it for like I, I don't know i have not died to a grenade yet it doesn't say that we need to win it doesn't say we need to lose and he died to a grenade i just ruined that guy's challenge i just want to play out one game where i don't even need to question it tomorrow i guess the new season starts i don't know if godzilla and them will be out like immediately or like what's going on because i know that the operation doesn't start until like a, a different time i don't know if that's just for like outfits and shit i don't know if the operation is just going to be basically like calling cards and other emblem challenges and shit like that dude why does it keep picking up all these things man shouldn't it be tapped to get up okay i haven't died to a grenade in that entire game there's no way and for whatever reason i have 150 frames i don't get it i don't get it i got play the game somehow i didn't feel like i did shit i guess i like how snoop doesn't even hurt the guy in that celebration screen he's just like stop trying to shoot me have a hit of this okay i only got killed by bullets in that entire game i don't even think i got damaged by anything else i let the game finish out the only thing that is questionable is maybe i didn't join at the start of the game it's just not tracking. Okay, I've, I've been baited. I, I think this is just a waste of time. Maybe it works tomorrow. I, I don't know. But I'm definitely, at that point, I'm not even going to give a fuck about it. So this is actually the dumbest challenge I have ever done. This is horrible. I don't know why the fuck they even thought that it should even be a challenge to get the trophy system. I mean, seriously, that's not content. That literally should have been there from the start. It, it what, it, yeah, that, that is, that's definitely going to be the worst challenge I've ever seen. There's some map changes. They updated the runway in Caldera. Uh, it seems a bit more open instead of having like a bunch of foliage everywhere. So it actually could be a pretty popular spot to drop, to be honest. New perk drops. Uh, the following perks can be found as legendary rarity. Battle Hardened, Engineer, High Alert, Restock, Tempered, Quick Fix, Scavenger, and Point Man. Point Man is a plunder exclusive though. They updated Peak to make it look like honestly it kind of looks more like a missile silo to me now but i mean i, I guess not ricochet anti-cheat kernel level driver on pc is live on vanguard now okay so the cheaters on vanguard i guess will get stopped more often if anybody's even cheating on this shit uh they got the pictures of the godzilla tracer pack thing activision said vanguard sales are lower than expected but vanguard still remains the best-selling game of the last 12 months in the united states poor battlefield oh my god what a disaster that was holy shit all right well i guess we'll get all the uh patch notes and shit like that soon enough so Hope it's not too bad.